JC Welcome. Hi, how you doing? I specifically want to talk to Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, congratulations on your bid for Congress. I hear you ran as a constitutionalist, but yet you run a Nazi regime known as El Home PD. Knowing that every video I've ever taken of them, they are committing crimes themselves. And knowing that outside this building right here, you yourself, sir, were holding a press conference where the FOIAs go back to where you were keeping me out by myself alone, where you targeted me to keep me out of that press conference was a direct violation of my constitutional rights. You claim to be a constitutionalist, I claim you to be a Nazi. You were speaking at that press conference that day when your officer blew up with me, threatening me, telling me an invitation media only. Well, Scottish, you know they are, Supreme Court of the United States, the people talk about our constitutional rights, Mr. Constitutionalist. In the United States, first time, Piquet, they call you a liar. What you did that day was directly violate my constitutional rights by using your thugs and your Nazis. And then you went further because they did it again and again. I don't have a single video where your officers are not committing the crimes. But to know that you, sir, were at that press conference that day, knowing you, sir, I was able to find in some of these FOIAs, knowing you, sir, were there, you're not a constitutionalist. If you want to run for Congress, we want honest people running for our Congress, and we want honest people running our cities. <clears throat> you, sir, need to fix your police department and fix it quick, okay? The only reason I haven't filed on you folks yet is because I was home dealing with my sick mom, but I'm back now. So either the city can apologize to me or we'll, we'll deal with it further on, okay? What you did, sir, was criminal. It's against the law. And you, Mr. Constitutionalist, using that thug right there, that, that one right there, we're wrong. It never should have happened. The Supreme Court has ruled it is unconstitutional for you to decide who is media and who is not. They have ruled that you can't do that, that you cannot keep one individual out of that press conference that you don't like. And you can't use the word safety, sir. That don't fly. Okay, I had every credential you could possibly ask for, including that illegal one called SDPD, okay, which are going away soon, as soon as the Supreme Court rules. But you, sir, I promise, okay, you either fix this police department and these thugs and you find a way to apologize to me, or you are going to deal with my cameras every chance I get to put on you, and we're going to talk about this over and over and over. And tomorrow, I'm going to my congressman, and I'm filing a formal federal complaint with the federal government concerning the actions of my videos and the FOIAs that I found that I know I can directly tie back to the senior members of San Diego County to include <coughs> your office. Thanks. You have a nice day, sir, and your job is not to talk to me right now. Your so time is up, sir. Thanks. I'm really glad he had his First Amendment rights. It's a great country we live in. So let's go on to the next. Uh... Motion carries by unanimous vote. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in closed session. I'll now ask our city attorney to report on the actions taken in the closed session. Thank you, Mayor. The city council, as the city council and successor agency uh, met to discuss existing litigation, uh, gave direction to the city attorney on that litigation. This brings us to adjournment, the regular joint meeting of the El Cajon City Council. El Cajon Housing Authority, successor agency to the El Cajon Redevelopment Agency, held this 13th day of March in 2018, is adjourned till Tuesday, March 27th, 2018, at 3 o'clock p.m. Thank you.
<laughs> Our last speaker is JC. Well, sir. Hello. Mr. Mayor, you were speaking that night. You were at that press conference that day. It seems to be you're mentally ill, so I'm going to go back. In invitation media only is against the law, sir. It's a direct violation of our constitutional rights. And time to parquet versus United States is determined that. So why are you guys violating constitutional law? If you need a referral to a psychiatric hospital, please ask the police. We sure will. You're running for Congress, sir. Mental illness is a national issue right now. Absolutely. Are you a doctor? Yes. You are. And what do you know about mental illness? Illness. 30 years as a mental health professional. And you think I'm mentally ill? It said it, what I said was it seemed like you were. I'm mentally ill because I asked you guys to be held accountable for the crimes you guys were committing? To give you an idea. Today while I was coming over to this meeting, you guys are sitting here talking nice, got all this shit going on with the Marriott. But yet it gets robbed. You want to do something for them? Protect their customers. Because I was going to let you know where the bad guy goes. Hey, Chief, did you get the bad guy yet? Did they catch him? You want to do something for the Marriott and the people of El Cajon? Fix your police department. Okay? You know a lot about mental illness? You want to call me mentally ill, sir? You hid behind a bunch of men with a gun. You had three officers with guns standing there while you were taunting me. You're supposed to be a doctor, but you're taunting me? Call me mentally ill? Because I'm holding you accountable? I was concerned for your welfare. You're con because your officers might shoot me? No. Right? They shoot the other people who seem to have mental illness. Are you trying to set me up to be shot? Because your officers seem to be using that term quite a bit. What are you trying to do, sir? I think you, we're done. Your guys overstepped their boundaries. Period. And you did too. You want to run for Congress? You're sick. You don't belong there. Mental illness is a serious issue. And for you to be making fun of it, it's not good. We don't need people like you in our Congress. We don't need people like you in our mayor's office. Okay. You need to resign. You're a piece of shit. And Chief, did they catch this guy yet? Please Maybe I should have tackled him. I, I appreciate if you didn't swear in council. This is America. And in our school systems that sir, you sir, you're done. Thank you. Okay. All right. Any more? We have no more speakers. Okay.